What is going on everyone, Mr. Simo for the win here and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video where today I'm actually going to be showing you guys the top 5 working glitches on the brand new zombies map Gorod Karavi. So if you go ahead and enjoy the video be sure to support it by leaving a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for all the latest Black Ops 3 glitches but without any further ado let's get on with today's video. So the first glitch I'm going to be showing you and also coming in at number 5 is just located outside near the power room. And what you want to do for this glitch is just simply walk up to the tank, you want to jump and push forward until you feel yourself hoist up, and then you simply want to move to the right just a little bit. If you move too much, what will happen is you'll fall off, and if you don't move just that little bit, what will happen is the zombies will come and attack you. But you'll know if you've done this glitch correctly, because what will happen is all the zombies will pile up in the middle. Now the good thing about this glitch is it's exactly where the dragon breathes fire. So that means they do turn into inferno zombies, which is really cool as well if you're trying to do the dragon egg. Because you guys know, if you're doing the dragon egg, you have to kill a certain amount of zombies while they're on fire. This glitch is amazing because you can have your shield out and obviously your shield is fireproof. So any zombies that are in this location at this time, you can go ahead, just go and get your shield out and boom, inferno challenge done. But also it's really good if you're just going away, you need to go to the toilet, you need to go to your dinner. Because the downside to this glitch is the blue robots can shoot you and the big warden can actually shoot you out of this glitch. Sometimes the warden does pile up, it depends which direction he comes from. If it's where my friend is now, where that big pod is, he will not shoot you. But if he comes from the other side where the mansion is, sometimes he will shoot you. So, here's some footage of me just showing you guys that the, the, you know, the shield is fireproof. Some of you guys didn't know that, and to be honest, I didn't know that until about five days until after the map come out. So here's me like waiting for the fire, like, oh my god, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. And in fact, you can just go ahead and use your shield. So that's what I like about this glitch. It's easy, it's simple to get into, and you can go ahead and do some awesome challenges. Like I said, you can also do your sniping challenge for the dragon egg as well, because all the zombies pile up into one. So it is a really nice little spot to go ahead and do. It isn't the best pile up that we've found on this channel already, but as you can see, when my friend goes ahead and trains them up and then brings them back to me, they do actually stick in a really good location. So overall, it isn't the best glitch, but if you guys struggle with glitching like I used to back in the day, this glitch is definitely the one for you because it's so simple it's just literally jumping forward onto a tank and moving a little bit to the right coming in at number four we actually have a knife launch glitch this can be quite tricky but the good thing about this glitch is it is a team glitch meaning some of your friends can go ahead and join and get some high rounds as well so for this glitch what you're going to need to do is have a friend stand where my friend was in the video just to stop the zombie coming towards me and you simply want to run jump and knife and try and land on this bookshelf now if you do this glitch correctly there is a little barrier that will allow you to go onto the bookshelf and all the zombies will pile up in front of you. Again this map is quite annoying so yes the warden does come for you and yes the blue robots do come for you. But if you guys didn't know the shield is an insta kill more or less on the wardens and you can actually go ahead and upgrade your shield to make it last a lot more. Now for this glitch again you are going to need the shield regardless simply because the well the dragon breathes fire. So if you want to stay in here without going down you're definitely going to need the shield. Now for you yes you are completely invincible unless the warden or the robot does come. If you have any friends doing this glitch they need to stand outside to the left where speed cola is. The only reason they need to stand there they will get a few zombies coming to them alright so they might have about 10 zombies around. But other than that, you will get the majority of them. As you can see, the zombies that are walking up the stairwell are actually walking past where the uh, speed cola is. So the only time that the, well, your friends are going to get some zombies is when they jump up. But that's the good thing about this glitch. They have to jump up before they start running at you. So as long as they have enough gunpower, you should have no problem whatsoever. And then when those zombies are coming, they can have a sneak peek out of the door and then go ahead and boom, clear all these zombies up. Again, this glitch isn't the best. It's all right, but it's quite different to do so if you're not really experienced in glitching you might find this glitch quite hard because knife lunging can be quite tricky at times but if you want to give it a go it's definitely better than the last one I showed you because it's more of a team pilot glitch whereas the last one I showed you was more of an AFK slash solo pilot glitch so if you want to go for high rounds this is definitely one of the glitches you want to be doing coming in at number three is the unlimited death machine glitch guys this isn't patched before you comment it down in the comment sections below I have actually tried it before I uploaded this video so I'm going to be showing you guys the easier method to go ahead and get the unlimited death machine 
So for this glitch, what you are going to need to do is either have the gobble gum that gives you a death machine, or simply wait and be lucky until a zombie drops one. Now what you need to do is you need to be near one of the three locations where the dragon can actually teleport you to the pack a punch machine. Now what you want to do is just simply wait around and when you see a death machine, either if you use it yourself or a zombie drops it, what you want to do is straight away double tap triangle as soon as you pick it up. So I'm going to be showing you guys what I mean in the video and I'm also going to be showing it to you guys in slow motion. So what you want to do is you, you want to run up to it and as soon as you run up to it you want to double tap triangle and then you'll know if you've done this glitch correctly because what will happen is the little death machine logo will remain at the bottom of your screen and the death machine will not be in your hand. Now what will happen is the dragon will actually take you all the way over to the house where you can go ahead and pack a punch and as soon as you go ahead and land you simply want to press triangle to cycle through your weapons and boom there you'll see an unlimited death machine. So as you can see, there's no ammo counter for it whatsoever, and you can go ahead and get a un you can get so many rounds with this because the death machine is so overpowered. It literally rips through the zombies in one. It kills the warden in under three seconds flat, and also it's very effective against the robots. Now the next glitch I'm going to be showing you guys is going to be awesome for this unlimited death machine glitch. So just keep this glitch in mind because the next glitch I'm going to be showing you guys how to spawn a pileup glitch anywhere. So here's some gameplay of me just using the death machine now, as you can see, it's round 12, it's completely invincible, and if you guys have been a long time subscriber, you'll know I did a, well, I did a, well, a few streams actually, last week where I was showing you guys some footage of this unlimited death machine, and it works really, really well. So the next glitch I'm going to be showing you guys is how to form a pile up any single location you would like. So for this glitch, what you are going to need to do is have the Dragon Strike. Now if you don't know how to obtain the Dragon Strike, just simply type it in in YouTube. It isn't really a lengthy process and it isn't really too difficult either. As you can see, we more or less got the Dragon Strike by round 10. So what you just want to do is watch some YouTube. If you know where the pack punch is, it's pretty simple, but just watch YouTube if you don't know where it is. Now, as soon as you get the Dragon Strike, what you're going to need to do is tell your friend to place the Dragon Strike in the location you want to form the pile up in. Now, as soon as he places it down, what you want to tell him to do is simply go ahead and leave the game. Now, as soon as he leaves the game, you'll notice if you've done this glitch correctly, what will happen is the circle from the Dragon Strike will remain where he placed it. Now, the downside to this glitch is if you're going to do it with a friend you want to invite him back, you have to do it on a non-ranked session, which means you can invite him back and all your kills count, but unfortunately the rounds do not count. The other downside to this glitch is if you go ahead and do it with a friend who's willing to do it in a ranked match and he backs out, say if you get to round 10 and then he backs out on round 10 but then you die on round 20, it's only going to count round 10 because what, what basically what happens is there was three players in the game but he backed out on round 10 so then it counts, starts counting two player leaderboards. So if you kind of get what I'm saying, you want to try and get this done as fast as possible because you're going to lose about 12 rounds when your friend backs out. So it's very important you try and do it quickly, efficiently and have a friend who's willing to back out and he's not really bothered about joining back in. If you do have friends like that and the, you know, they want to kind of get kills, just simply do a non-ranked session because I was getting loads of XP either way because it still counts to XP. So if you don't care about your rounds, I was leveling up my guns loads, all the zombies were walking by, this was a really efficient location. So if you guys want to go ahead and try it out, be my guest, it is a really good glitch and if you don't care about your rounds, boom, this glitch is it's for you really. It allowed me to level up my dingo all the way to max and I got hex on it as well and I also did the same with some other guns. For my final glitch guys, yes you have it, it is the unlimited master prestige XP glitch which surprisingly still isn't patched. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and get the egg, you want to go ahead and incubate it and you want to go ahead and do all the challenges. Now if you don't know how to do all of these challenges, just simply type it in on YouTube again, how to incubate the egg and once you've done all these steps, what you want to do is go to the incubator, take the egg out and simply keep pressing square. That is it, it just keeps giving you 5000 XP per time. Now in this footage, theatre glitched out, it registered I was only getting 100 XP per time. But every time you press square, you are getting 5000 XP and as you can see I'm going from level 191 
192, 193, no way would you be getting that if it was only plus 100 XP. So anyway guys, that is it for my top 5 video today. If you did go ahead and enjoy it, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, please subscribe as I post all the latest Call of Duty, Black Ops 3 and Grand Theft Auto 5 content. Also, people who are wondering, am I hosting this lobby again? Yes, I've been hosting it tonight, and if it isn't patched by tomorrow, I'm also going to be hosting this glitch tomorrow. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Take it easy, and I'll see you in my next video. I can't